Today I will show you how very easily you can change ratio of your video or you can expand your video and use it for any of your goals. And if you're interested, just launch your Photoshop and let's do this! So here you can see the video we are going to work on today. And this video was created for real section and have a ratio 9 by 16. Let's start with adding video into Photoshop. And for this, you need to open the folder with the video on your laptop. Click with right mouse button on the video and choose open with. If you doesn't have here open with Photoshop, you can select other methods. And here in applications that are available in your computer, you can find Adobe Photoshop. This is how your video will look like on a laptop if you will open it with the method I just showed. Also, you can use another method. For this, just open the Photoshop and drag your video from the folder in any space. And it will also automatically open in the Photoshop window. Now, let's talk about layers that you will see on your screen. From the right side, you have to see the panel of layers, which is your video inside the folder video group. And down below, you have to see the timeline that opens usually automatically when you add the video. But let's imagine that you don't have this panel on your computer right now. I will just close this tab. And let's imagine you added the video and it looks exactly like it's now on my computer. You don't have any panel, but you need to open it. For this, just go into the window and find here timeline, which will automatically open the panel for the videos. Now our next step, let's decide what exactly ratio we want for our future video. For start, let's try to convert this vertical video into horizontal. For this, I will choose crop tool and set up needed ratio for me. And just drag by the borders, clicking with left mouse button to expand the ratio of our video. You can also click in the center and drag around the crop area just to find best position for you. When you are found your place, just click enter on keyboard. Our next step will be choosing rectangular marquee tool and selecting areas that we created. Hold shift key on your keyboard and just drag the additional area to select both sides. You can see that now my both areas that are empty currently are selected. And that's where generative wheel comes to the help. Let's click with the right mouse button and choose Generative Fill. This will allow us to create new areas on the video. If you will leave this field empty, Generative Fill will analyze the ground that is near the selected areas and use it for creating a similar background inside the selected area. So let's click Generate. This is our first option. Here we have some very strange areas. So let's go into Variations and click what we have next. I really like this option. I will just expand this timeline a bit more so you could see very clearly all the elements. But you may have a situation when new layer appears not over the video group, but inside the video group. In this option, two layers, which is our current video and our created areas from the sides of the video will be one by one. And in the option you will play the video, you will not see this created area. So let's just stop, come back to the beginning and click on the created layer and just drag it out of the group with the video. So here we have our current video and here we have new additional parts, but you cannot see them because they on the timelines stay not one under each other. Let's just drag this part over here and expand it till the end of our original video. And now we can play our video and you can enjoy this little magic from Generative Fill in Photoshop. Besides the creating an extra parts of your video in Photoshop, you can also use some presets or some settings to adjust brightness or contrast or colors of your video. For this, just click on this icon down below and choose, for example, curves. If you want to see the whole curves section, just drag by this border, clicking on the border and waiting until arrow will appear and start to move curve in the places that, for your opinion, make your video look more perfectly and more beautiful for you. Also, we can add presets that already created inside the Photoshop. For this, just click on the icon we clicked before and choose Color Lockup. Here in 3 d lot file, you can choose any default 
presets inside the Photoshop that can be used as for the videos as for the photos. So our first part of the video is ready and we created from the vertical video horizontals. If you really enjoyed this process, please click the thumb up under this video so I knew that you really like such editing process. And now we will come back to our original video and original dimensions and I will show you how you can expand the video just adding more background to make it more catchy. So as always our first step in such process will be adjusting new size of the video. For this I will choose crop tool and just drag by the borders clicking left mouse button So when you created a new dimensions for your video, just click enter, take rectangular marquee tool, select the areas we are going to manipulate, hold shift key on your keyboard to add a new areas to the selection, click with right mouse button and choose generate a fill. As always, you can leave the field empty, let's click generate. And exactly the situation that I described you previously. The generative field done its work and we already see some variations here and new layer over here, but you cannot see the final results on your image exactly because new created layer is inside the video group. We have to click on this layer and just drag it outside of the video group and adjust the layer on the timeline panel. Now you can see new additional areas created and just click to find the best version of the generative field manipulation. I like this one and let's play and see how it goes. So when your video is ready and you applied all wanted presets or adjusted it wherever you want, you need to click on the file, export and down below find render video. All settings here may stay the same, the only thing I ask you to change is size of the video to adjust it to your needed goals. For example, for Instagram we are going to use exactly such size and click render. Ta-da! You created a brand new video by using a Photoshop generative field feature and now you can use this video wherever you want for any goals you want. Please pay attention that the goal of the success of this editing trick is your video is shoot without any movement. So you can set up the camera on the tripod, shoot yourself and then you can work with this picture because basically the sides of the video or the top of the video usually stays without any changes and nobody will be able to notice that there are parts are actually images. If your video was shooted from the hands, it can create a little shakes or movements and it already will influence in the final result and of course it will be visible when you create aesthetic borders of the video but inside the image is shaking. And I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. If you really did, please let me know with your comments down below and with your thumbs up under this video. 